we're talking with uh, Justin from Leica about the Leica M9. This is a rangefinder, right? It's a rangefinder camera, yes. It's a rangefinder camera. The M9 is the latest addition to our M series. M standing for Messucher, which is a German word that means measuring viewfinder. Okay. So it's a German word for rangefinder. Um, but it's a direct descendant of the, the M3 from 1954. Carries on the same shape, the same look, the same form factor, and the same rugged, durable construction as the original M3 had. But it's actually kind of small, though. It is very so. small. It's the smallest full-frame digital camera on the marketplace. Okay, so it's a full-frame digital camera. Yes, it is. It's 24 by 36 millimeter sensor inside of it. So it's a full-frame digital camera. And it's basically half the size of any pro DSLRs. In compared to any of the offerings from the other manufacturers, and it's a very, very small, tiny camera. Okay, and, and okay, so it's not a DSLR. It's not a DSLR. What is a rangefinder? Okay, a rangefinder is a is a different way of producing a camera. Okay. With an SLR camera, you're mm -hmm. always looking through the lens okay. because you have a mirror box in here, and so you've got your shutter in the back, and you've got a mirror box in here in an SLR camera. Right. In a rangefinder, you don't have a mirror box. All you have is a shutter. That's the only moving part in this. Okay. You actually look through the viewfinder. So you actually look through this window in the back. You look through this what? window right here in the back. It okay. splits your vision, and so you actually look through this window right here, okay. and through this little window over here. So and that's this, how you focus. This is your viewfinder. That's your viewfinder. This little round. This little round window okay, on the back. Turn, the, turn this around so everyone can see this. This is your viewfinder right here. Okay, and you have an LCD screen. Yeah. How big is that LCD? It's in my brain. It's two and a half inch okay, LCD so this, screen. This rangefinder has a viewfinder and a two and a half inch LCD screen. Right, but there's no live view on this camera. Now, so then the LCD screen would really be for playback? For playback. Okay. For playback, checking your, your exposure, checking your frame, make sure that you were in focus. So we like the way the picture came out. Because we like the picture came out. But it's a completely different type of camera. And you were talking about how heavy it was earlier. Mm -hmm. If we weren't behind the counter, we were in front of the counter, mm -hmm. I would stand on top of the camera. Okay. Because this camera, these cameras are very, that? very rugged and reliable. Do we want to stand on the camera? Sure. Okay, let's stand on the camera. Who can, right. can get down to the floor? It's Justin standing on the camera on the Leica M9. He is standing on the camera. He just stood on the Leica M9 rangefinder. They made the Leicas this way to make them very strong. Structural rigidity. Yeah. That's a good, that's a good tongue twister. It's a good word, tongue right? twister word. Takes basically every Leica M lens made since 1954. Okay. We can actually put earlier lenses on that. We started standardizing our lens mount in 1925. Okay. You actually can go back and put earlier lenses on this camera with an appropriate adapter. I mean, I don't think any other manufacturer has that sort of long-lasting compatibility. Okay. The rangefinder is really a specialized tool. Okay. It does a small set of things really, really well. It's a great street photographer's camera. It's a great wide angle lens camera, but it's not really good for long focal lengths because you're not looking through the lens. It's kind of hard to compose with a really long focal length lens of this camera. But when it comes down to a wide angle lens, the focusing accuracy of the rangefinder really shines, that I can precisely focus it in all kinds of lighting conditions. The other thing that we make for this camera is we make some very fast lenses. Okay. We make a 50.95, which, which is super, super bright. Basically, it's designed for photographing in the night. Okay. It basically gives you know, light when there is none. All, almost makes its own light. That's the joke about it. Is that it's almost makes its own light okay. because it has such a large opening to it, and it's the advantages of this kind of system. And there's no moving parts. The only moving part inside this camera is the actual shutter. So you don't have mirrors swinging up. You don't have all kinds of vibrations. That allows you to sh handle this camera at fairly low shutter speeds. Leica's core competency is optics. We're known as an optical manufacturer. And we have roughly 400 different types of glass in our catalog that are Leica proprietary designs that we've actually come up with the formulas for. And so a typical glass manufacturer is going to have about 125 different types of glass they make on a regular basis. And so a lens manufacturer is going to have access to those. Well, we have access to those plus these additional 400 different types of glass that we use. So we are very specialized in what we use, and we pick certain glass types for their, their, their special requirements and special needs. And that's one of the reasons why sometimes Leica lenses are very expensive. Uh, our glass can be very expensive. The new Noctilux lens, two pieces of glass in that lens, an ounce of the glass costs twice the price of an ounce of silver because it's a special glass. It's something that we have made. It's very dense glass. Mm -hmm. 
So it's it, it's got special metals and stuff in the glass, and it's only poured a couple times by one manufacturer for us. So it's 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 rare. It's not like it's very special. How, how many M9s are made in a year? Um, they don't say, they don't actually give us a true production number. Okay. Um, they're made in batches of 10. There's, there's actually a great video online that shows production and shows them walking through the production of the camera, and they're made in batches of 10. We started making cameras in batches of 10 in the 1920s. That's uh, a very small number. Ten. But that's the way Leica makes right. it. Right. That's the way so, the company so is set up. So that's how, why we'd say it's probably more, quite a bit more expensive than yeah. another camera. It, in its, I don't know if it, there's anything in its class. Yeah, really, it's a unique product that really doesn't have any true competitors. It's its own entity, okay. and it does its own things a bit differently than everyone else does. But it's handmade. Right. Like this lens samples I have for you here, mm -hmm. these are all defective lenses. Because if something wasn't right with the optic, right. they don't use it. It gets thrown away. And so instead of throwing them away, they give them to us to use as samples. samples. But there was something wrong with it. When they made it, it didn't pass quality control. Thank you very much. No problem. I appreciate all your time. I want to Thank see you jump on this again. See me jump on it again? Yeah. No problem. Thank you.